Hey, this is Kelly from the MacUniverse.com, and today I wanted to show you some new ways to resize Windows and Lion. Uh, since Apple made it possible to resize Windows from the sides, you can now use modifier keys to manipulate the way that the Windows are resized. So, for instance, I have this Finder window here, and say I want to resize it. Normally, I would just use the corners and resize it this way, which it still works and everything. But now, you can also do it from the side, like this. And this is system-wide, so you can do it in other applications as well. But that doesn't really do a whole lot for you. So if you hold down the Shift key, you can see how it changes the proportions. Now if you hold down Option and Shift, it'll do it this way. And if you hold down Option, it does it that way that's not holding anything. And you can also do this for the corner as well, so if I hold down Option, or if I hold down Shift, or if I hold down Option and Shift, see, so there's a variety of ways you can you can really manipulate the way the windows work. And uh, like I said, you can do this in other applications. So if I open up Safari, and I do the same thing. So here, this is normally how you would resize by using the corner. If I hold Option, it does it this way. If I hold down Shift, it doesn't do anything. But if I hold Option and Shift, it'll go this way. Now, if I go to the side, see, so normally it'd be like that, but if I hold down the shift key, it'll go this way, and the option key will be this way. And then option and shift will be that way. So maybe this will give you some ideas of how you can utilize this in your daily workflow. You can quickly resize your windows or a document on the fly and uh, in new ways that you might not have been able to before. So once again, this is Kelly from the MacUniverse.com. Till next time, thanks for watching.